Accessing the white balance is pretty simple, very much like a lot of functions. Just press the function button to access the function menu. Now, in most of the modes, you don't have access to white balance. It's going to default to auto white balance, and it's not going to give you control. What you want is the manual mode. So use the right or left navigation buttons to move that little red square over the manual mode option. Once it says manual, I'm in there, and now you can see that the white balance is accessible. And I can go down to white balance, and I can choose whatever white balance best suits my needs. You have daylight for outdoors, cloudy for outdoors, tungsten, this is great for indoor pictures, and fluorescent also for indoor pictures. The fluorescent high is really very, very similar to the daylight option which is why I pretty much never use it. It's meant for fluorescent lights that are daylight balanced. In my opinion, if the light is balanced for daylight, I can just go ahead and use the daylight mode. Last thing is the custom white balance. And this is great for product photography if you have controlled lighting, or if you really wanna get that the most accurate color in your images, you'll need to set the custom white balance again Great for product photography, but not very handy for everyday shots. So what you do, I want to make sure that I calibrate the camera properly. I would put a white piece of paper or any kind of a neutral or a gray piece of paper in my scene. I can just hold it right here. And basically, these brackets that you can see in the center of the screen, you want those on the white piece of paper. And you want to press, as you can see at the top, it says display to evaluate the white balance. So I want to hit the display button down here. It'll take a reading of the color temperature of the lights. I'll just press that. And it took a reading and it adjusted accordingly. So because it didn't think that flash was necessary, uh, even though I have my flash set to automatic, the flash was not used. And now the custom white balance is properly set. I can just get rid of this and go ahead and take a picture and it should come out just fine with all the colors as close as possible to the real article. To find out much more about digital photography and your digital camera, go to lbguides.com.